dear. Can you imagine? Twelve cents a pound for a leg of lamb. Well, John. Well, it's a little surprise I have for you, Mary. It's a telephone. A telephone? That thing for talking over a wire? Isn't it just a toy? No, indeed. Why, I've been talking from here all the way down to the office downtown. A useful thing like that is more than a toy. Do you want to try it? Well, yes. I don't mind. All right, I'll signal the office. All you have to do is to press this button and then wait until someone answers. Here, you do the talking. What do I say? Oh, say hello when the chief clerk answers and then say, well, say whatever you please. Hello? 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 Hello, is this the office? I can't hear much of anything. Sounds like someone crying. Oh, but my dear, you mustn't be so critical. Of course it sounds strange at first. The advertisement says it will. Well, I don't think much of it. No one will ever use it. Well, you mark my words, dear. The time will come when we will all use it. Well, we the invention of the telephone is one that has truly changed the world forever. Alexander Graham Bell is credited with this invention and made U.S. history when he was awarded the first U.S. patent for it in 1876. During this time period in the United States, a technological revolution was ongoing and allowed for many other products, along with Graham's telephone, to be produced. Shortly after Bell's invention of the telephone, business boomed. After Bell had successfully patented his product and taken it to market, the Bell Telephone Company was created in 1877. By 1880, 85 cities and towns had local telephone networks, and just six years later, in 1886, 150,000 people in the United States owned one of Bell's telephones. Bell's invention of the telephone was greatly influenced by his life at home. His mother and wife were both deaf, and due to his extended research on hearing and speech and his experiments on hearing devices, in an effort to make the lives of the two ladies he loved more joyful, he was able to concoct the telephone in his home in Boston. Bell's invention of the telephone was initially planned out to be something called a harmonic telegraph. It was a renovation of the telegraphs that people were using back then. Bell's initial idea was that the telegraph could be sent through a single wire using different pitches. Bell took sound waves and then turned them into a electrical impulses, then converted them back into sound waves. As his experiments continued, the end product of the telephone was much more than it was planned to be initially. When the invention was finished, Bell tried to sell the patent to Western Union Company for $100,000. Western Union made a catastrophic mistake when they declined Bell, laughing at his invention and stating that it was simply a toy. This led Bell to keep the patent and start his own company. After realizing their mistake, Western Union hired Thomas A. Edison to try to compete with the telephone, but Bell's patent was proved to be indisputable. An important company that erupted with the invention of the telephone was the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, known today as AT&T. AT&T's roots stretch back to the late 1870s, when Bell's telephone was first invented. During the 19th century, AT&T became the parent company of the Bell System, which was the American telephone monopoly. In New York in 1885, AT&T was incorporated as a subsidiary of the American Bell Telephone Company. The mission of the corporation was one that included lots of work back then. It was to connect one or more points in each and every city in New York with one or more points in every other city. Today, AT&T is a global networking leader, which is focused on delivering IP-based solutions to customers. Today, the telephone has gone to great extents that Bell would never have been able to fathom back in the late 1800s, when he was beginning to mass-produce his new invention. Telephones now allow us to go to great extents, such as calling someone who is halfway around the world, or intercoming someone in a different room of your house. When the telephone led to the invention of the cell phone, the world boomed. A cell phone today allows anyone anywhere to call anyone else, no matter where they are in the world. Cell phones have prospered so much that nowadays telephones such as the iPhone and the Blackberry allow users to do just about anything on their phones. From listening to all of their music 
to using their different applications to do things as preposterous as locating your car in a large parking garage. Almost everyone in the world today owns either a telephone or a cell phone. The invention that was once seen as a toy is now seen through human eyes as a necessity to everyday life. We've come a long way since playing with sound waves to try to improve a telegraph.